April 15th, A Word in Season to the Weary by Brother Bach Singh. Lord, teach us to pray. Luke chapter 11 verse 1. To have strong faith in the Word of God and claim His promises is a mightly spiritual weapon. That is how early church prayed, Acts chapter 4 verses 23 to 31. They lost fear and doubt and prayed with strong faith in the Word of God and the promises which God gave to His people. We have to hold on to all the precious promises given to us to encourage us. Then we can see God working in our midst according to His faithfulness, fulfilling the promises which are given to us. In Acts chapter 4 verses 23 to 31, the early believers believed in the greatness of God and claimed the promises which God gave to David, Acts chapter 4 verse 25. They believed that all that had happened was in fulfillment of the promises, and so they prayed, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants, that with all boldness they may speak thy word, verse 29. They did not wish their enemies any harm, but wanted the Lord to give them boldness before the people to preach Christ. When people oppose us, we need not think of taking revenge but claim boldness for the message to be given. Pray without ceasing, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17, means pray for every matter with burden not occasionally but always, even for small matters. Before giving the word we can pray, Now Lord, help me. Touch my tongue, throat and lips. In an unconscious way we find our hearts crying to God even for small things. Another spiritual weapon we find in Acts chapter 12 verse 5. Agonizing prayer is a spiritual weapon, not just occasional prayer but travailing in prayer with burden. There are times when we have to pray with agony in our hearts for those who are suffering, through sickness or by any other means. Similarly, we read in Acts chapter 13 verse 2, as they ministered to the Lord, and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me Barnabas and Saul for the work whereunto I have called them. They prayed together to find God's perfect will and plan for them for the future ministry. It was a very important matter. They prayed through till God spoke definitely. We must agonize in prayer till we hear the voice of God for our personal matters as well as for ministry. And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed, and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them, Acts chapter 16 verse 25. In their agony, they did not wish their persecutors any harm or wrath of God. They began to sing praises and claim salvation for those in the prison, including the jailer, they believed God had allowed that suffering in their lives to accomplish the work of salvation in the prison. Instead of praying for the wrath of God to fall upon their enemies they prayed for their salvation. The devil may use any weapon against us, but the Lord Jesus Christ will defeat all his weapons. We as God's servants have to be extremely sensitive to all the devices of the enemy which he will use in the end days. It is to bring spiritual poverty among God's people and spiritual weakness among God's servants to prevent them from taking their full share in the inheritance of the saints in light. It is only by learning to use our spiritual weapons of warfare effectively that we can defeat the enemy fully.